welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to explain what contractors mean when somebody is referring to hybrid vehicles and a high voltage battery and contractor open close and what that means. Um, so here we have a 2010 Mercedes S400. This vehicle was actually uh, shipped all the way from the west coast to the east coast, so it can be diagnosed here and repaired. But uh, and the driver, uh, the owner, is going to fly and and drive this back to uh, California. So uh, let's go and take a look at a hybrid battery really quick. Before I get started though, uh, one thing I wanna point out is that when you're working with a high voltage battery, uh, you have to be extremely careful and you should have training before you can work on these because uh, they are high voltage and if they uh, accidentally uh, shock you, they can cause injuries and even death. So you can see here, um, this is the terminals for the that connect directly to the cells. This high voltage battery has 36 cells, um, uh, lithium ion cells, and uh, that's what, um, but it's extremely careful to have that properly disconnected and even lock that those pins there so that uh, you don't get shocked or somebody doesn't get shocked. So uh, really quick though, so with these, with this, at least with this model and, and another makes kind of function the same way, especially vehicles that are mild hybrid, uh, including BMW and um, other makes uh, that are hi uh, mild hi hybrids. They, they're gonna have kind of the same system. So, um, and that includes even the Toyotas and the Hyundais and other, uh, even um, regular hybrid cars. So they have something called contractors. And what a contractor is, is basically you have these two. If I measure the voltage right here, I get nothing. And the reason is because the contractors, it's like a switch inside. Imagine a, a light switch in simpler, simple terms that connects and disconnects this to terminals. So when you turn on the ignition, the contractor, the switch uh, gets basically closed and that closes the circuit. So there's power coming to this. As soon as you turn off the ignition, that switch automatically shuts off. And these two right here, um, again, you should have that protected uh, for safety reasons, but if uh, measuring the voltage right there is still not gonna read anything because the contractors are open. Now I have a scanner right here, and I have that connected to this S400 right here that we're working on. Uh, you can see though, uh, we can see because the ignition is open, the hybrid system is now uh, operational. You can see what uh, we're gonna read the, the the values here of the high voltage battery, and also I want to show you the status of the contractors and the contractor counter and what that means. So right here you can see the status of the contractor is closed. So this right now in that vehicle, the this two uh, two main terminals right there, they're going to have 120 some volt. Um, this right here it says the amperage of high voltage. Uh, we can see the charge level at 58 percent it should also show us the voltage you can see high voltage of the high um voltage of the high voltage battery is 129 uh, volts and that's dc so that's why if i turn off the ignition um then it's the contractors are going to uh from closed and that's where in normal operation they're going to be closed when you turn off the ignition they switch to open now there is something very interesting here that um I want to point out if if you have if you look at remaining uh, switches cycles of the contractors, uh, there's this number here, one ninety two thousand and nine one six. So uh, what that means is those cycles of that switch. So imagine you know we, we simplified it and we're we're talking of that in the terms of the you know the light switch turns on and off the light. Well, it's that similar thing. Imagine that has been operated there um, some seven thousand. Uh, cycles or so 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 what well in this case though there's still a lot of cycles left this number is going down 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 right there the battery that you see right there uh, that was a vehicle that got um, actually shipped here from Connecticut from Connecticut it got shipped to Baltimore and uh, we diagnosed that and on that hybrid battery this remaining switches of the contractors was down to zero what that means is the hardware and the hardware inside is called the BMS or the battery management system. 
that manages the voltage of the battery, manages the operation of the contractors on and off and uh, temperature and so many things. It's saying once that reaches zero, um, that battery it cannot function, be operational anymore. So th now that is how it's designed. Um, it, it's kind of like saying if, if you had a, a cell phone and then the battery, you, you had 200,000 cycles of, of, you know, uh, let's say fully charging and discharging of, uh, on your cell phone battery after 200,000 cycles, you can't use that anymore. Um, ideally, <laughs> the contractor's uh, counter is important because it tells you how, how much was the hybrid battery has been used because, um, you know, it's like the more it gets used, of course, the capacity of the battery is not going to hold as much charge. Um, and it's good to have a contractor counter, but uh, this right here, it doesn't have to start at a random 200,000 number and, and go down. Uh, because in that case, that went down to zero. That vehicle has only like 68,000 miles. Um, so what this, um, I would like to see that starting at zero, meaning when the battery is brand new, it starts at zero and it just counts how many cycles have happened. Because this battery, uh, sure, the, the it's not going to hold as much charge, but um, as it gets older after 10 years, after it has a lot of cycles, but that number just can keep counting up. And if somebody wants to get an idea uh, the, about the condition of the hybrid battery, or they can just look at that. It, it, the battery doesn't have to stop just because after 10 years now it doesn't hold as much of a charge like your cell phone uh, battery at first it you know it's holding a charge for two days but then after you know five years maybe it's only lasting half a day it's still working uh, so you still you know might want to decide you want to keep that cell phone operational especially in this case I mean that hybrid battery right there costs fifteen thousand dollars so to me it would make more sense that that number starts at zero and increases and it should not be a factor that after a uh, certain number of um of uh, cycles, it it decides to say that this battery is done and you can't use it anymore. Go get another one. Uh, that's that's my um, that's what I, I I wish they had done there, but that's not the case. Um, it's not, so, but that's it. That's what contractor is and contractors and um, uh, so basically it's the switch inside that disconnects and connects the high voltage battery. Close means it's connected. The switch is connected. There's power coming to. That terminal right there and right there and uh, open means there is no power so a lot of times when you have issues with a high voltage system there's codes and stuff like that you'll see status of the contractor you'll say open um, it's just because it has to be no other fault codes no other issues with a hybrid system for the contractors to operate um, and again uh, another one is like if this cycle went down to zero then that will stay open a show styles of contractor open and you will not be able to use that battery anymore but that's it uh hopefully that explains what uh contractors mean in in a hybrid uh vehicle and thank you for watching